What's up, everybody? Welcome to today's episode of the Comeback Podcast with your host, Mark Jennison, founder and creator of the Comeback, the man who's going to change your life. Today's topic is never fucking apologize for who you are. Sit back, enjoy the show. So today's episode was spurred by, first off, by my brother. Um, and I obviously, I, I love this guy. You know, he's my best friend at my wedding and I value his opinion and I, I He's been my little brother for my whole life, but yesterday we were talking and some, he said some things to me that sparked inside of me that just fucking have got me infuriated and furious. Not at him, not at anybody, just within me. It put some anger inside of me because I started thinking about stuff. He told me this, I'll just share it with you because I'm always really fucking honest anyways, that it sort of remind him of things from, from Fleet One, from our previous business. Now, here's the thing. Let me tell you about that Mark from Fleet One. He didn't show up. He was fucking robbing Peter to pay Paul to do the business. He was blowing a majority of the profits on drugs and alcohol. He was stressed the fuck out all the time and pretty much a dictator towards it because he wanted people to slave drive, slave drive, slave drive to get him out of that fucking pit, right? Now, Mark, who runs this company today, is nothing like that. If you have a job that needs to be done, I expect it to be done, period. That's it. I'm not the fucking most happy. Yes, I'm positive. I'm fucking a hard worker. I'm disciplined. But I'm not going to every day fucking be fucking mentally, emotionally jerking people off, being fucking friendly, happy, spy. It's not who I am. It's just not who I am. I do it with my clients because it's real because we're getting to the moments and there's some truths and comforts inside of there that they call for it. My job every day in my life is not to get up and just fucking be the, to be just happy, 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 joy, joy, joy. It's not who I am. I'm not going to apologize for that. So I went deep and I started thinking about this. And I'm okay, man. It, okay. Internally, where are you doing? Where are you doing wrong? What are you doing wrong? I cannot find a direct correlation of anything. Sure. I'm growing. I'm growing. I'm expanding. I'm building. I'm fucking trying new marketing systems. We're improving our sales systems. We're looking to scale the team. These things require a level of focus and discipline that sometimes makes me quiet because inside of the man who is creating the fucking machine, who's moving whatever business it is, whether it's your, you know, any business that it is, you're in your thought process majority of the time, and you don't fucking always have the answers. I don't always have it figured out. And when you don't have things figured out, then people, and you get quiet, and you, you shell up, and you hold up, and you don't start, you're not, you're not always just emotionally valuable the way that people would like you to. The reason you're, you're quiet is because you're trying to figure it out for these people because you care, because you want to lead them, because you have a fucking vision. Now, things are going amazingly great. So I look back at at everything I'm going through and I'm like, man, there is nothing like this. I have not drank in fucking years. I have fucking brought more value, more help, more positivity into fucking thousands of men's life. I'm the most present father I have. Any situation that that anyone who's worked with me has came through has been, their life has got exponentially better. So I'm fucking searching to find out where the fuck I am, where I need to be better. Now I will find something because that's the whole thing here. Course correct, I'll fix it and I'll try to be better. I'll have a meeting. I'll figure out whatever we need to talk about and, you know, and, and we'll go there. Maybe they'll get some stuff off their chest. But I know this. The man that has created this thing, the rebirth of me four years ago that I, I was born and died probably three or four times over this. And every single level of me is going to create a new existence. It's going to create a new being. It's going to create a new focus, a new energy, a new discipline. I'm not going to apologize. I'm not going to slow down. I'm not going to work less. And I'm not going to fucking do anything. Besides what I know how to do. And that's put the pedal to the metal and produce. So for you out there today, this is not, this was a business one, right? But we can talk about it in your drinking. We can put this across anything. Where are your life for you apologizing for being who you are? Many of you guys may be apologizing for drinking because you drink too much. Many of you guys are apologizing because you work too much. Now, here's the thing. I don't know that. And I'm not saying all these things are good. But when you can get to the core and you find out who you truly are, that's the person you never apologize for. Because that man is the one that everybody needs. They don't need you to be, they don't need me to be happy pansy fucking jerking people off, smiling, laughing all the time. They need me to be able to fucking be there in the battle because I go to war every day. Building a business, trying to build a kingdom and a legacy that's going to live long past myself, for my brother, for my kids, for my kids kids, kids, for my nephew's kids, build something that my fucking last name can be proud of. doesn't require me to go to fucking happy hour and fucking laugh. 
requires me to focus. So where in your life do you feel like you need to step up? Where in your life do you know that core values of who you are that maybe sometimes people might be looking at you saying, man, you, you know, you're just, you're just too driven or man, you're too happy all the time. Right? Maybe you need to work a little bit. You're too loosey goosey. Where, where across your life you need to fucking step up, be something, but not apologize for those core pieces that everybody needs. Your wife got a hold of you, loved you, fell in love with you, whatever, because she trusts you. Your kids trust you. What I'm going with this message today is very, very simple. Every single one of us have unique characters and characteristics and qualities of us that make us up. That's just how it works. And that's the cool thing about being a human being. And the cool thing about being your own fucking person and stepping into your own ability to make, decide, believe, achieve, and fucking have this abundance of life is you get the fucking keys to do whatever you want. You wake up in the morning and you create or you don't create. You listen to what other people say or you don't listen to what other people say. You drink or you don't drink. You use drugs or you don't use drugs. All these fucking things are choices. Well, the one choice that I know is this. I will never apologize for who I am. I will work fucking harder. Because that's the one skill set that has brought me out of this pit over and over and over again. And if anything happens again, it's the one thing that nobody can ever fucking take from me. That is my ability to fucking succeed through struggle. So today, ask yourself this question. Where across my, my, my faith in myself? Where across my financial aspects of my life? Where across my family? Where across my fitness? Where across my future? Where across the freedom that I want? Am I not showing up for who I want to be? And where do I want to apologize for who I am? Or not apologize for who I am, I'm sorry. That's it for today's episode. And if you're struggling with that, what you can do is you can fill out a link. Uh, Iamacomeback.com forward slash apply. Iamacomeback.com forward slash apply. You can actually then talk to my brother and myself. Uh, Dan, someone from our team will reach out to you. And we'll see if we're a fit. We'll see if we can help you figure out who you truly are, the man you want to be. Won't take much, but we'll take a commitment. Click the link. We'll see you on the call. And I'll have a great day. Talk to you tomorrow.